Hello everyone, this is Jason Matthew from We Can EduTech, where we make using technology in education simple and fun. We are going to quickly look at how we can use your PowerPoint slides as a virtual background in Zoom. So let's get straight into it, guys. So first things first, you must make sure that your Zoom desktop client is the most up-to-date version. So you click on your Zoom client and then you go to the top right corner where is either have your profile picture if you have a profile picture or it will just have your initials and you click on that and then you go down and you see check for updates so you click on check for updates and in my case it's saying i'm up up to date as um, the date of this recording is 5.4.9 you need at least 5.3 version for what I'm about to show you. But again, it's always great to keep your Zoom desktop client updated um, so that you get the latest fixes um, for whatever bugs they may have come across, as well as you get the, um, access to the latest features on Zoom. So I'm going to go to one of my meetings. So I click on meetings and I already have a Zoom demo meeting set up. So I'm gonna click on Zoom demo meeting and I'm gonna click start. So I've started my, my meeting here. Uh, join my computer audio. And now I'm going to do something that I don't normally do in my videos. I'm gonna turn my camera on. So this is me guys, Jason Matthew. And for this demo, I'm using the regular lighting in the room. I'm using my built-in camera on my computer. And in the background, you can see my fan you can see part of my mic and you can even see part of the back of my chair so this is what you're seeing when i just turn the camera built in on my on my computer so the next step now is that we're going to share the powerpoint now there are different ways in which we can share a powerpoint so please i have discussed different ways in which you can do that see for the video link below but this today we're going to take the powerpoint and make it a virtual background for the Zoom. So you click on share screen and then you go, now there are three tabs in the, when you click on share screen and most people will focus on the basic tab, but today we're going to click on the advanced tab. So click on advanced and there you'll see if you have updated your Zoom client and you have 5.3 or later, you will see uh slides as a virtual background and it's in beta still but it's very it's fully functional so you double click on it and then it will ask you to which which powerpoint you want to share now for ease of purposes i have my powerpoint on my desktop so i'm already seeing my powerpoint here and it's a powerpoint on blended learning so i just click on it and then i click on open and then the computer is going to process the PowerPoint for me. Zoom is going to process the PowerPoint, I should say. All right. So now if you look, I'm coming up. The PowerPoint is at the background. I'm coming up. You're not seeing the fan anymore. You're not seeing my, my desk. You're not even seeing Mike. You're just seeing me and, I'm, I'm, and the Zoom background and the PowerPoint background. Now, if you look, you can use the arrows here to navigate from the different slides. Now, this is one way in which you can do it. So, so you, you, you can have the, the camera here, or we could go full screen by clicking on full screen here. All right, so now I'm going on full screen and I can even hide the thumbnail video. So I can hide that. So now I have just myself presenting on the screen. And to navigate to the other screens, you're going to hit on the arrow here. And so if you watched, I am on slide one of 21 slides in this presentation. So I can then click on the arrow and go through the presentation. All right, there are other things you can do. So like for instance, you can move yourself around. So like if you're blocking something, you can move yourself around. You can also change the size of of you so that you are not blocking anything all right so, so the, and then you can navigate through the slides all right so so these are some of the things you can do also another cool thing is now let me put myself here and i'm going 
Let me make myself a little bigger. If, and again, this is just me using the built-in stuff. I'm not using any cameras, any special equipment or anything. You can go to where your video icon is, click the up arrow, go to video settings, and there you shall see a few settings. So for instance, if you find that your picture is coming a little too dark, you can click adjust for low light, and that helps a little bit. So that's with auto. You can also go manual, and then you see you have a slider, so you can actually increase the brightness to a brightness that you like. All right, there's also touch up my appearance. You can also work on that as well. So you have a few interesting options under video that you can try out. All right, so then I can just close this off. And again, as I said, you can move yourself around, you can navigate, and you can go from slide to slide. But while presenting, you can't edit this slide. So that's just one of the things that you have to keep in mind. All right, so when, and when you're finished with your presentation, you reach the end, you can always just click on stop sharing, and then it's gonna bring you back to your, to your camera and to, and to everyone. And you know, when you're finished, you can end your meeting. Now, one of the things that you might be thinking about doing as well is that you can use um, this, this functionality of Zoom to record a screencast. Because once you click on the record, record button in Zoom, you'll be recording your presentation. So you have your presentation background, you have you in there. So it's, it's a really nice way to record a screencast. But just remember, Zoom is a video conferencing software. It's not really a dedicated screencast software, so you won't be able to edit the video in Zoom. So if you're really interested in getting high quality screencasts, then you will want to use a dedicated software such as Camtasia, which is excellent for um, recording screencasts and so on. Now, some things to, to keep in mind of. First of all, when you have your PowerPoint as a background, it's a series of static slides. So you're not going to get any animations. You're not going to have any access to the annotation features. So if you have transitions and so on, any PowerPoint, you're not going to see those things if you have it as a background. Neither will you be able to use the pointer, like you won't be able to go in presentation view and use the pointer and you will not be able to edit the slides. So it's just a series of static slides. Now there are different ways in which you can present a PowerPoint. And again, check the, there's a video that I did about that, four different ways in which you can present a PowerPoint. Check in the video description below for that link. The second limitation is that not all computers will be able to do what we just did. Um, it depends on your processor. So the older the computer, most likely it won't support virtual backgrounds. Now, if you go on Zoom website, and I have put the link in the video description below, you would see some of the processors that, that they recommend and also some of the processors or some of the computer models that might not work. The third limitation that you should be aware of is that if you have hidden slides in your normal PowerPoint presentation, they will not be hidden when they are in the Zoom background. It's just a series of static slides. So whatever slides are there, hidden or not, will be shown in the background. And the final limitation is that this feature only works with PowerPoint as well as Keynote, but it does not work with Google Slides, at least up to this time of this recording. Remember, it's still in beta development, so who knows, Google Slides might, it might be able to work on Google Slides in the near future. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Um, please look at my other Zoom videos, they have some great stuff there. And likes, share and subscribe. Thanks again guys, take care, bye bye.